we are going to quickly go through each set that we've had so far in 2020 and just some quick one sentence, two sentence opinions. And I'll be reading out a ton from the chat as well. And then we'll go into 2021 speculation, how each of the sets in 2020 could reflect and impact what we get this year. We'll talk about the same price points, what price points need to be hit in 2021. And then we'll go into the third stage, Lucy Goosey Wild Speculations, where we just go through whatever we want. We think about whatever wild and wacky sets could be released. And also what 2021 20th anniversary sets could be released. Because we only have the 20th pack. I think it might be the only thing we get for 20th anniversary, but I'd love to hear everyone's opinions. Maybe it's not. So, welcome everybody. Thanks so much. But how fast can you cook minute rice? Mm. Mm. I, I think um, I think probably in a minute. <laughs> I, I'd say a minute and 15, minute 15 seconds. Give me really hot water. A minute and 45 seconds. Cook it seconds. for a little longer so it just gets... Uh, gets... I like when Depends rice how starts to like, crisp say... up, you know, if you cook it too, a little Ooh, yeah. too long. Um, so, how do I join your Discord, Brayden Wilson? The link is in the description of all my videos, and I'm sure Bam oh. Bam would be kind enough to send the link into the chat I right think, now. Uh, did you get moderators. my message um, the last time you live streamed? What was that? I think the Discord link in the comments is oh, broken. It's broken. It might be broken, so we'll try and fix that. I used it actually to join the Discord today on my new account. But, did you? Uh, yes, but it's not a hyperlink, so that's probably the confusion. I need to go okay. through and help. Help, I'll uh, put fix, it in the thing anyways. Fix all those hyperlinks. All right, and it's the scheduled time in the morning that Peggy has walked into the kitchen and she's about to find a load of cockroaches and I'm just going to have to watch as she uh, she she looks Whoa. like she's in great discomfort, but I can't do anything about it. <laughs> all right. So are we getting a cockroach mech suit? Cockroach for mech suit. Wow, that's a good one. Right, so um, who won the 1K contest? Yes, I'll also mention that. We have our 1K Discord competition, and the winner will be announced on a live stream in about five or six days time. It'll take some time to go through 200 entries, okay? So, I also, okay, Mr. Big Brain also said, uh, the domain, I heard that there is going to be two more sets released by June. Is this true? Could definitely be true. I don't know where you heard that from, but it could definitely oh. be true. Mega Constructs oh, the, has um... like a fall release. But usually, a couple of things start coming out in different countries first. What, what was that, store was it that um had the? It had three Halo vehicles listed, mm. and then we ended up seeing the wash. But the other two—that's probably what he's referring to. Ooh. I forget what site it was. You could pre-order, but the other mm. two were more expensive. One was like a step up, and then the next one was Did like they have names? Uh, sixty US or something. No, it just said Halo oh, vehicle just said Halo hashtag vehicles. one. Hashtag two, well, there definitely hashtag will three. be a dozen uh, Halo vehicles at different price points, right? Like that's definitely uh, that's definitely expected. Um, so we'll go through that, and we'll also talk about how what what we believe. I know as a community, Mega Constructs needs to do to move away from just vehicles all the time. So we'll talk about that as well. Um, my mom used to tell me about stories about the cockroaches in China. Um, yeah, I didn't have a massive problem with cockroaches in China, but in Hong Kong they've been a big issue. I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of maggots when I was living in Vietnam, but just because we didn't take the trash out enough. Right, so let's go for it. We're gonna go through quickly every single 2020 figure or set released. And I'll get like one sentence opinions from a couple of you guys on what we think was good about them, what we think was bad. So, going in at the cheapest, we've got Halo Infinite Blind Bag Series 1. What do we think? Just well-rounded. Just well-rounded, yeah. Uh, it's just a really good set, I think. Yeah, just a really a good, good start. Set. A good start. A modest start. The Micro Pelican, I think, was the obvious choice because they've been doing micro builds for a while. They had Clash on the Ring, A New Dawn, they had uh, Battle for the Ark. They all had micro builds inside. So we definitely needed a micro build. And the only asset that had been released really at all at that point was the Pelican. And then the Phantom, which was obviously the Series 2 micro build. Like, they're literally the two vehicles we've seen aside from the Warthog. So we had the Micro Pelican. That was fantastic. Then... You all know what my opinions of having two ACs in one set is. Not a big fan. 
but the AC Pelican Bro Hammer, he has warmed on me. And I love that uh, soft plastic belt that he has. And then we love Gungnir. We love the metallic purple elite. He goes well with the metallic red elite from the gear pack. The grunt is okay. I like how it uses Mega Construct studs in its pack. Um, any other opinions you want to share, guys? If I can uh, interject on the, yeah. the, uh, the blue pilot we don't know yet that he's not going to be able to show up as a hologram in other bases you know what i mean because he's probably going to stay on the pelican yes and you know? zach i'm sure you'd agree that like um in destiny they like to implement the i i think of destiny when i think of halo infinite a lot because i think you're going to make allies around the ring and then you can like visit them and i think the bro hammer will the bro hammer will be in a lot of cutscenes. He'll be utilized, but a lot of the time, he'll just be one of those, like, kind of cardboard 3D characters that's, like, stood behind a stall, like, what can I help you with today, Chief? You know what I mean? Um, he could be, yeah. like, a Cortana. He could be a Maybe. Cortana, yeah. He could be the new Cortana. He could be, like, the AI chip in your head, yeah. Just, like, radioing in all the time. Um, yeah, well, he, actually... I think now that I think about it, because uh, he said that there was a down condor, he might be actually set up camp in the condor, yeah. and we don't know what's inside the condor. There could be like a battle map, because yeah. it was a super unit in Halo Wars, so it could have been, you know, it could have had a map of the whole area and stuff like that. Right, exactly. So he can give like tactical, like, hey, go here, yeah. go here, go yeah. help these guys out or whatever. Mm. Also, welcome to 150 viewers. That's a real <clears> peak. <throat> Good job, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. So yeah, the... The Pelican Bro Hammer, it, he will definitely pay, uh, mass, play a massive part in the game. So I don't mind that he was a hologram. And yes, the blue makes sense. If it was something else, I'd just be like, why is this figure in my pack? But blue hologram does make sense. And he could be some kind of... He could come up as a small blue hologram on your data pad. Like, anything could happen. So I'm not mad about that. And it was a good series. I also like to compare the Series 1 blind bag uh, Spartan. I think this is actually one of the best examples we've ever had for pro Halo heroes to defend the point of Halo heroes. The difference between these two figures is actually crazy. These two Mark 7s, they are the exact same character, but just the Halo heroes is just so much more detailed, so much more detailed. So, Series 1 blind bags, pretty good start. And you would agree that Series 2 blind bags, they came out in very late 2020? Really? Or did they, were they like January 2021? What do we think? I honestly don't um, remember. Um, <laughs> no. I can't remember either. No, but I think, I think they were probably pegged on to the end. Because the, the main line of Halo Infinite Series 1 came out in summer, right? Summer of I think it was right yeah. before Christmas. Yeah, it could have been. So Mega Constructs would have definitely been planning to release a full wave of sets in summer and then push for a full wave of sets as Halo Infinite launched in December time. So even if things were delayed, I wouldn't be surprised if they were planning to have like a dozen sets come out uh, in sort of Christmas time ready for Halo Infinite's launch. So Series 1 and Series 2 blind bags pretty epic and you know me i think series two improved upon a lot of things in series one particularly every spartan has different colored limbs uh, sort of halfway down like half of their arm is one color the other half is another color and then they also have different colored shoulders compared to their armor and the elite is pretty special the grunt is definitely the most filler grunt is this one jimbo i think we called no we didn't call that one jimbo uh I don't know. Did you see there's a video I recently called Top 10 Domain Grunts? And it's literally oh, yeah, talking I saw, about I saw that American Domain method. Grunts. Also, Peggy, could you close the windows, please? There is a very loud bird. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear him. <laughs> oh, very loud. I can kind of hear it. Can you, yeah. It's very squawky. Well, the birds like but to man. sit on top of the AC unit. So, yeah, that definitely happens. That's CQC. Wait, AC? AC, active, active camo, camo bird. active camo bird, active camo bird for Halo Infinite, <laughs> active camo <laughs> bird confirmed, oh, no. invisible beak bird, Invi question mark, oh I see it, <laughs> I mean be, I don't, that better be the new meme in the discord now, active camo bird confirmed, <laughs> <laughs> right. I need that it's like an emote, just those words, so yeah oh gosh, so series one, you just have, you have invisible birds pecking you, yes, 
Also, Series 1 Master Chief, fantastic. You have to have uh, an AC Master Chief when you start the new blind bags. Then AC Trailblazer, pretty good. I, I just think it's a good figure. Uh, that Hazop is is boring. I, I don't enjoy it. Oh, no, not Hazop. The CQC. I forgot he even existed. CQC. He's a, he's a bland figure. I, yeah, he's a bland figure. I forgot he existed. Oh. You know, the people need their greens. The people need their green spotting. So it's just but I did like the ODST ball. chest plate or the shoulder pad. Mm -hmm. I like that part. Mm. We're peaking 170 viewers. This is fantastic. What's up, everybody? So. Also, can I. Yes, please. Can I just say, Big Yosher, can you stop simping for Peggy? I see you in chat. You're being weird. Stop, man. <laughs> Big Yosha says, he's no, mate, show Peggy. <laughs> uh, anyway. What? He's, he's mad anyway. simping. All good. All good. It's, anyway, literally, it, it's literally Simon's girlfriend. Uh, it's good. But, it's, uh... good it's good. It's good. <clears throat> hey, the domain fan. Yes, we will be giving away a blind bag at the end of this stream. Yes, we will be doing that. Right. So we have the blind bag series one and two. And then moving up price point ever so slightly, we've got Halo Heroes series 12 and then series 13 so what do you think about series 12 fellas uh ultra's hot um, i bought five ultras i couldn't help it yeah, they're good <laughs> yeah there were a lot of elite ultras but that was more the era of like other blind bag series or like other uh -huh. sets like there shouldn't have been so many ultras i think <gasps> that uh, really i think there shouldn't have been an elite ultra in well, maybe not. Maybe they shouldn't have put one in Infinite Series Two because now we're getting another Ultra in Series Three. So maybe they should have left it out in Series Two. Put I, I think they should have taken out the Banshee. Well, I think the Banshee one was the in, most. Man, they should have put a brute. Like we. Or like an go... Elite, like the original Banish. Yeah. Well, 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 yeah. Like they could have added like you know a basic minor red, you mm -hmm. know, Banished Elite instead of just these constant Ultras. Yeah, that's or, true. But or, I am yeah. going to argue the point. Yeah, go on. Yeah. That I love all these ultras. I love all the new colors. I love that yeah, we're getting creative too. ultras. We're getting nice militaristic stealth op ultras. Mm. I, I, I'm i digging all the ultras. But yeah, we do need some more miners. Especially those gear pack miners. I want in a more accessible way. Like yeah, two of put them the gear set. pack miners in the Banshee. And then yes, I'm completely happy. Yes. The gear pack miners are fantastic. Right, so we've got these Halo Hero Series 12. I also think that Gungnir might still be the nicest figure Mega Constructs has ever released, and I'll stand by that. Ever released. It is just flawless. So many paint applications. Such good color choices like that. And oh. even that Mangler is, is awesome. So I really like that Gungnir. Uh, the Mark Seven is pretty good. I know the Recon is the least favorite from the masses. And then the Craig the Brute, I have literally like at least 10 of these now, they're fantastic. So, and also Honestly. it's like, yeah, you could release a Craig the Brute in blind bags, but I'm, I'd rather pay like $2 more for the more detailed Craig the Brute. So that's that's what All I have is. to say is monkey. And then Craig evolved. Craig got upgraded into his chieftain counterpart. I mean, there there is a lot of like, uh, there is a lot of similarities between these two series. If we line them up, we've got the two monkeys uh, definitely a similarity. Let's move them up a little bit. We've got the two monkeys, and then we've got the two Mark Sevens. We've got the Trailblazer versus the uh, Recon. They're pretty similar. And then the Master Chief is like the other green Spartan uh, in this set alongside the Gungnir. And then we got another Elite. So they are pretty identical if you think about it. But. I know we don't like the fact there's a, there's a chief in uh, in Hero Series 13. I know it's a little sad. I know, I, and, I, 14. Especially the, and 14. I know it's a little sad. But folks need Get Hero's Reggie. chief, and the chief is, you know, he's the icon. I don't mind it. I'll give it a pass. Um, and when Halo, you know, Mega Constructs is trying to sell these toys to retailers, and children will buy the Master Chief. It's just that simple. So I, I do bad. want to say to interject yeah half of the master chiefs made 18 master chiefs have been in the last two years and like 15 of them have been in uh no not 15 like 12 of them have been infinite master chief so i do want to say i feel yeah, like they're I a few. do you think I there's like, been 18 a few there ha has been yeah. 18 in the past couple years because wow. somebody added all up the sdcc set helps but, <laughs> well you know the sdcc uh, set yeah. doesn't count that's six of them <laughs> That's a quarter yeah, of all the Master Chiefs. Yeah, but it still Chiefs. counts half. It's uh, still like... I know, but that's yeah. that's built to be 
what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that one. That's still ten more. I'm aware, than but we still, really need. like, mm. yes. Mm. But now we have like at least see, ten. You can still see some great improvements between series thirteen, uh, series twelve, and series thirteen. For example, look at this mark. Look at these two mark sevens. You can see the difference of adding colors on the belt, adding different colors on the legs. Um, there are definitely some better details on the second one. So they are our Halo heroes. Thank you very much, boys. Right, now we need to move a little faster through these sets because the, I think the heroes and the blind bags require like a, a bit more Wait. attention. Wait, Simon, no. somebody um, mentioned the Marine Sniper. Where's the Marine Sniper? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, where's my dun, Marine dun, Sniper? Dun, dun. Oh, uh, maybe I just a diorama, and that's why. Well, the Marine Sniper as well, that's a really good one. And also it, really nice to time. have such a detailed Marine as well. So, we've got the blind bags and the heroes. Then we've got the gear packs. We've got the, uh, yeah, the, what are they called? The the UNSC gear pack and the, what? wait, what are they called? The gear pack and the something. Armor pack. <laughs> Armor the pack, armor pack. Yeah. yeah. The gear pack and the armor pack. So they're pretty epic. Um, I love, you know, I love the um, the gear pack especially. Well, it, it depends what you what you're kind of in for because the the gear pack is really cool. Um, but the I mean the armor pack is it definitely comes with the most Spartans. I know that some people don't like the. Let's just pull up the gear pack there. I know that a lot of people don't like the armor pack because it's just so many uh, funny colored Spartans. I know some people don't like the yellow, but uh, the gear pack especially, the gear pack is phenomenal. Like, so good. So good. And it goes so well with the rest of Halo Infinite, like 2020, because it comes with all those extra armor pieces, which you can add to your Series 1 blind bag marine. So I, I love that gear pack. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I, I'm sure you guys would agree with me. Oh, also, yeah. all the extra effects and tactical things like the knives and the mm. muzzle flares, energy mm. bayonets, those are just sick because those are hard to get accessories. Yes, exactly, yeah. And Must then, have been 10 just for the white armor. On, I remember waiting on eBay for the gear pack. I just sat there all night yeah. refreshing, yeah. <laughs> trying to grab it. And did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Nice, nice. And then the armor pack, yeah, I, for Spart for people who love Spartans, which I think is everybody. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. And it's you good get for the, customs too. Yeah, EVA operator, Gungnir, commander, like so many different armors and the recon. Then you also get a brute. So yeah, and I also said I always said with those um, armor packs and those gear packs, it's literally a bonus figure that you get with uh, the the Marines or the Spartans as well. So I think they're fantastic. So, I just realized. Yeah, go on. I just realized the picture you have for the gear pack. The brute only has one shoulder and only one knee. knee I think pad. that's what he comes with. I think that's what he comes with. Yeah, he comes with just that. Uh, he's not a full. Thought, yeah, he's just one shoulder. Yeah, let him do that. They, oh, he's a yeah, scavenger. They, they did that with the skiff brutes too, which uh, I've actually had a lot of people heard of said about that. The, it kicks uh, with a bulkiness. I, I thought yes. the armor pack specifically had two. Hey, what's up, Jerry Houston? Five dollars marine gear pack best set. Jerry, come join the chat, bud. Come get in on the get in on the fun. Give some opinions. Domain, I've been a fan for six years or more. That's fantastic, Wayne. That's awesome. Hey, Wildfire, good to see you. Everyone go sub to Wildfire. The armor packs are stupidly rare for no reason. Yeah, we, we'll talk about rarity scarcity as well. Yeah. Mega Construct should make a grunt named oh. Victor and put him in a Halo Hero series. Change my mind. Might happen one day, friends. Stay tuned. It's literally. I'll never try to change your mind. I. Th Scavengers. Everybody's just being so funny in the chat. Right, so let's go through the next ones. We've got the Chief versus Brute Warrior. And, oh no, what happened to Craig's head? <laughs> um, he's being used for something else. Uh, slash, I don't know where he is because I've got a big bucket of, like, Craig pieces. All right, so the Chief versus Brute Warrior. Uh, this is definitely our best Chief. Loads of nice battle damage. They come with epic weapons. And uh, really, let's just let's just start running through them now. Yeah, we've got the turret takedown. That's a very cheap turret that comes with a grunt and has up Spartan. It's not too bad. And then we've got the UNSC combat unit and elite mercenary combat unit. What do we think of those? Uh, uh, the, the combat unit is my favorite. Hot. Yeah, oh, really? those are really good. Yeah, they're, they're well, good. They got well-rounded troops. 
They're good. This bitch but they're just really hard to get. He they're was good. Saying. I haven't found them, but I want them so badly. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. They're good for army building, sure. I mean, that's what you've got to sort of move past. It's painful for people that have been with Mega Constructs for so many years, and then they get this set and they're like, well, you know, I used to... I remember when fire teams came with five figures, but... They're not really the same thing. I think Mega Construct should brand them a little differently because they brand them like yeah. they are fire teams when they kind of are, but they come with such a smaller amount of figures. It's uh, it's a little funny to, to call right. them the same. Yeah. Um, but the banished one is great. I love that red shoulder that comes with the brute. That red elite ultra is fantastic. The uh, jackal Jeremiah is is also great. So they're really wonderful. The flame sets. effect. Yeah. Yeah, also, yeah, also we've got the shock rifle effect that comes with that set. That's really cool. So we've got those. Then Mega, put it in more sets. Yes. Then we move on to the sort of the dual sets, I like to call them, which is the recon getaway and the tur uh, and the hijacked ghost. They retail for pretty much the exact same price. They both come with uh, the same amount of figures and they're both sort of the exact same set mirrored. If you look at the packaging for both of them, they're pretty much the exact same. So I think the, Mo the Mongoose is probably the best value vehicle for figure building, for army building that we've ever got. I know you'd agree with me on that one, friends. Yes. I'm just gonna say, just a, a, a support report. I've yes. heard people having flexed off of how many they have. The first one entered was 80, then somebody said they have 103, and showed hundreds of infinite marine. They so yes, really, they really they well hundreds the of these. Community. Yeah, because the I, target sale, where well, they had them for 7 bucks. Yeah, they have them for 10 bucks. 10 bucks is pretty amazing. amazing. And, we, you know, people have mixed opinions about this uh, ghost. I particularly like that it's the exact same aesthetic design to the uh, Banshee. They definitely feel like they're the same vehicle, they're in the same set. But the Ghost, uh, it's it's pretty good. It's lacking in a lot of things like heads-up display, in proper like leg rests for the figures. And when you compare it to the Jazzware Ghost, I mean, that Jazzware Ghost is so insane. Whoa, let me just try and pull it out. That Jazzware <coughs> Ghost is so insane and comes with just so much customization. Like, you can pull the seat back, you can adjust the hand uh, levers and the foot straps. It's very, it's very poseable. It's, it's, uh, it's got a lot to offer. So this ghost, it could be improved upon a little bit, but it's still pretty fantastic. But the cool thing about the ghost is yeah. that where it's so lightweight, mm. it's so easy to make it uh, flying through the air after a jump that's or true. something. You know what I mean? On just yeah. one transparent that's true. rod. That's true. And another thing about the ghost is it's a really nice uh, banished army builder. You know, getting the two grunts and um, the one. Mm. The the one uh, brute it gives it like a nice balance. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. Um, and then we move past those two sets to the Banshee Breakout. Oh, he's wobbling there. I really like this Banshee. I really uh, one one of my favorite videos that I've made is the uh, stop motion snap build of this Banshee. I think it's not lacking anything. It all fits together really nicely. It's it's a good banshee. I mean, we've had so many banshees, but this one I do I do like the design of this one. It's very weird design, right? The wings are very strange, but I think it stands out. I think it's pretty pretty great. I love this yellow eye at the front too. I actually have a, a problem with it because compared to the I know it could be just infinite art style mm. and not three foot three's fault, but it seems like such a step down from the old banished banshee. The fake just you everything. Think so? is a step you down. Think yeah, it's a step it, down? the old one is oh, everything right, is a step down. Okay. The Spartan in the Banshee was better because it, it was like that really nice Mark IV with the Spartan laser effect. Yeah. While we got uh, a bland uh, shock rifle with no effect. Mm. Uh, the focus rifle was nice, but then we got that Halo Wars 2 Banished Elite, which is still one of the most sought after uh, uh, Banished Elite, probably, probably one of the more sought after yeah. Elite figures. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. And then the aesthetic is just looks so much more banished and so much less toyish. Okay. But if one. you. If you look at the new or the release of the picture of the Banshee in game, we thought that it wasn't very accurate. But if you look at the in game Banshee, it actually looks like identical to how the wings look. I it, thought it the wings were off too. Identical. Yeah. I mean, they, they, I, they, yeah, they it, have it, literally just based a... these off the new, uh, like the, the 
Hey, remember the Banshee that uh, came out last time was based on Halo Wars 2. This one is directly yeah. based on Halo Infinite. Like, they'll have been sent the image assets, and this is what 343's made. You know what I mean? Um, but I get I all those yeah, criticisms. Yeah, it's more of a I get, problem. I get the criticism on the It's more of a problem too. with 343. Yeah, I think people love think... The, the Banished Red. It, it stands out so much more than Covenant. I love it. But... Uh, maybe you could think it's a little too bright, a little too toyish. And then we'll move on to the Warthog Rally. In it comes. I we know seven of these. Seven? Yeah, I mean, yes. we love the Warthog Rally. We love the suspension. And I think, and we're going to predict this later, I think we'll definitely get a Warthog uh, later in this year too. Anybody else I hope we get a true hog. Oh man, I think that that would be beautiful if we got yeah, another warthog. Yeah, I think, I think we yeah, maybe with like a different turret, like a goss or a, a rocket. A rocket. I, think I'm war I think I'm warthog down, honestly, mm. myself. You're like a damaged one. We've, we've mm. gotten so many recently. EVA's last stand. Yeah, yeah, like, throw some, yeah EVA's last stand, I think. So bad. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think like the damage maybe, effect. Uh, yeah, I don't know maybe, if uh, uh, So, go on. Sorry, I was thinking because like if for a troop hog, it's part of like a side mission or something. You get into, like a troop hog and get some troops out of a mm. encampment or something. Mm. You know what? Uh, I have an idea. What if they release a for like maybe fifteen dollars? They release a set that allows you to customize warthog turret, so it would give you the instructions to build a gauss, a rocket, or a oh. train hog, and then you can put it onto your warthog. Oh, oh so wow. it's like uh, that the scorpion. The multi build scorpion. Yeah. yeah but that's but it's not, it doesn't come with the warthog. It comes yeah. separately. Or like a true hog cage, because I know so mm. many people want to do that conversion and not be yeah. insane. Mm. Look at uh, that EVA's last stand, guys. That is one of the greatest sets ever. Like, it's so I got one good. I'm so, so happy good. I did. It, it was a so little awesome. bit of a shame at the time that you couldn't finish the warthog. Like, you couldn't actually complete it on your own. You had to buy another warthog. But that is fantastic. Look at that. And it also comes with two hunters, which I know Mega Constructs nowadays are a little more sparing in putting two hunters in a set. They always want you to buy two of the set. Hence, the Pelican Inbound comes with one hunter because <laughs> hunters hunt in pairs, and they would want you to have both. And they also want you to buy the alt build of the Pelican Inbound too. So the EVA's Last Stand, love it. Fantastic set. And then we've got the big boy, which is a much bigger boy, thanks to uh, Bam Bam Productions. This is the Halo Ring installation, the Forerunner Ring installation. We almost missed it off our list this morning, fellas. This is the Forerunner Ring installation, and this is two put together. This is two of mine put together. I think this is just a phenomenal set. And that's one of the talking when you points get... for later. Like, what sets can they release this year that are like, what would you call this, uh, bespoke? Like, it's a collectible piece. It's not a set. You can't play with this. I mean, you could I like throw it, pretend it's going through right. hyperspace. Yeah, <laughs> you could do that. The uh, control room from Halo 1. That would be cool. Yeah. But, uh, also, ring. like, high charity. So, like, I could kind of see them releasing another four in a ring and um, just, like, a new section of the ring that you could add to your existing one. Right, so we, we've got to finish off our, our sets before we go into the speculation because we've been here for a good 40 minutes. We're having a great time, but we need to get on to some uh, speculation. So, I mean, we're doing a lot of it. But then we've got the UNSC Platoon Pack. We know we love that. Comes with five amazing, or is it six amazing Marines? Everybody it's that. Was a, that was a godsend. Then we've got the Skiff that was legit Intercept. Godsend, yeah. The Skiff Intercept. I don't like the vehicle per se, but I love the alt build. I think the alt build of the Skiff Intercept I, I love, is flawless. I love both of them. I like mm. the alt and the original. Yep, I, I tested it. You can carry up to, I think, 10 troops. Yeah. Uh, on the skip if they're all brutes and i think that because we really don't get any banished no main infantry vehicles we just get ghosts yeah so it's kind of cool to get like a troop carrying vehicle i agree i agree so then we've got the defense point showdown expensive set re really quite expensive set uh but very very beautiful comes with that hyperius which we're now going to see in halo hero series 14 and it is a gorgeous set uh, I love that defense point showdown. These pieces that pop I can... off. That's clearly how you take down the turret in the game. You like have to blow up these little reactors, destroy all three on each side, and then the turret will go down. I think that's definitely an in-game uh, look. 
and yeah it's it's another asset that they had from the e3 trailer so of course they were going to make it into a set uh, i love it i just gotta say my biggest problem is that when it was released people had malfunctioning like they had problems but whenever they bought one it just came with a skiff there was no defense point they bought the box brought it home really? opened it and there's just a skiff inside really yeah I, 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 heard I, actually, well, actually, yeah. I actually checked local targets and checked reviews on amazon yo that happened yeah they they'd be getting skips for some reason whoa and that's gnarly but anyways oh God, on that I, that's I on sale actual, right now right? i got the actual aa I, gun so yeah that's on i suggest right now, everybody yeah. buy it and it comes if you're if you're into building custom builds and it comes with so many good pieces and like you wouldn't think because of the size of it but mm. for what it is it comes with so many extra pieces mm. so yeah, i suggest was, you get it there was that yeah if, if somebody built like yeah banished race or yeah, mixed race you made like yeah. an yeah. Mm. yep that was such a good build he used it's uh cool. two defense point showdowns and a skiff wow that was it yeah so definitely something uh definitely something you should buy for spare pieces yeah if you want to if you want to get on that custom train then we've got this gorgeous sword. You know, I absolutely love this. Every piece is unique. It looks like energy is pulsing through it. I love this glass. Still waiting white. for that meaty swing. I love the dark blue. And then, yes, you can give it a meaty swing. It actually holds together. It's got a gorgeous nameplate. The sword is king. Well, the sword is the queen. And the king is the pelican inbound. There we go. Whoa. Fair. Such a I still massive need to get set. that. Can't even get it in shot. Can't even get it in shot. Yeah, massive set. Um, I love how it splits apart. It made the perfect centerpiece for my banished diorama. It's just beautiful. It's just absolutely I love mine. I dropped mine four times. Oh, it no. <laughs> I dropped it. I dropped mine. It, it was painful. And then I tried to modify it for oh, the troop gosh. bay. And then I was like, I don't have enough pieces. Oh, oh I modded mine to have two, two pilot seats. That is oh, they could sick. have a co-pilot and a main pilot. That is painful. But I... There's one thing that that there's like one. It's not like super huge, but it it, it is a, bunch, a small problem a bunch of people have with it, and that's the troop bay size, which is uh, it's one, terrible. Two, you think two the seats bay, at best. You think the troop bay is bad? I think that it needs to be just slightly bigger so you can hold four figures. Being that the much smaller uh 2010 pelican, which I have, can hold more figures than pelican inbound, yeah, yeah, okay, and that confuses enough. me. That's fair enough. It's like double the size. My oh, biggest yeah. problem personally is, yeah. is the, uh, sorry, is the, um, how, like, the actual hatch door opens. Because I try to put Marines in there, like, because in-game multiple could get out at once. Mm. But in the Mega Construct, only one at a time because of how small it is. Mm. Okay. So it's kind of hard to, like, either make characters walk in or, because it just, that. the size is all random. I get that. So, Still a great set, they, but they are some they are some genuine criticisms of the Pelican. Um, I don't think we're going to see a revised problems. Pelican for four or five years, so they're going to have a lot of time to take in <laughs> take those things into consideration. <laughs> All right, so the only things left to talk about is the buildable Master Chief helmet. That's obviously uh, a big win. Where even is my buildable Master Chief helmet? I was just thinking then. Where, where, where's the last time? Is it over there, Peggy? Can you bring it, please? Yeah, we've got the buildable Master Chief helmet. Don't and, forget the build box. And we've, yeah, I'll yeah. get to that, yeah. And then we, we've got the buildable Master Chief helmet. We've got the, thank you, here it is. Buildable Master Chief helmet with removable data chip. Fantastic, really nice. And then we've got the buildable Master Chief himself, which is just on the way, actually. Bam Bam's sending it to me. Thank you very much, you are a saint. And that's on the way from Bam Bam. We, uh, we, uh, well, we, everyone loves that, it seems. It seems like a really popular set, so I got no problems there. And, yeah, the only one left is the Halo Builders box. The Halo Building box. And uh, that was actually my first live stream, uh, months ago now. But that is also a pretty epic set. I got no issues with that building box. Um, and it's been the main reason that I've been able to keep up with dioramas and my 1v1 dioramas particularly using all the pieces from that building box. It comes with two of my favorite Spartans and uh, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty fantastic overall. I got no issues. It's a, just a well-rounded, good, it's what it is, a building box. It's perfect for that. Yes. Yeah, it's a box got that builds. Box the build. Building exactly. box. Yeah. 
So, Got good parts. So, fellas, that is all of the sets from the last year. And you can tell there were that many because we are on the 45-minute mark. <laughs> We've done some speculation so far about what could come next, but now we're going to go through each set and talk about what do you think like, what do you think we can learn from these sets? For example, we know that we'll get a set that's priced at the same point as the Mongoose and the Ghost. We know that we'll get a set that's priced at the same point as the Warthog. We know that we might get another buildable weapon. So we're going to go through each set and we're going to talk about our predictions. What do we think is going to happen next with Mega Constructs? So... Let's start with Infinite Series 3 Blind Bags. Infinite Series 3 Blind Bags are coming out, and when do we think they're going to drop? I think they could just turn up tomorrow, you know? They could. You know, yeah, who is it? I'm hey, Jerry. Jerry's you know looking quick? for the heroes. Jerry's hey, Simon, you know my Walgreens. I'll go check yeah. tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think they're going to just turn up. I think the Halo Heroes Series 14 and the Infinite Blind Bag Series 3 I think they're just going to turn up out of the blue, and then suddenly we're going to be like, hey, there they are. So That just makes sense. Yeah, I think so. Also, everybody that's watching, thank you so much for supporting this and keeping going with us. And stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm going to choose one of you at random, and you can pick which micro build you want to go home with. Any of the micro builds that I'm building today, I'm building four micro builds, so you can choose one of them. So, yes, the Infinite uh, Series 3 blind bags, they might turn up any day now, and then so will Heroes 14. Now, if we're talking about predictions from those sets, I think the important thing to talk about is spoilers. Because Mega Constructs themselves confirmed that one of the figures from Halo Hero Series 13 was removed due to spoilers. Series 12 had six figures, then Series 13 came out with only five. And Mega Constructs confirmed the reason behind that is to avoid spoilers, one of the figures was pulled. And then we know that Series 14 only has five figures as well. We went into debate about this before. We think that one of the figures from Series 13 was Kelly, and one of the figures from Series 14 was uh, you know, the dude, Fred. Yeah, Fred. So we think Kelly and Fred were part of Halo Heroes Series 13 and Series 14, but they had to be removed due to spoilers, hence why we're now getting them in the blind bags, because they already have the assets for them. Makes sense, eh, fellas? Yes. Yep, yeah. and I'm betting for a Linda, and I bet you that Chief goes along with the blue team, the Series 14 one. Yes. Man, I can't wait for us to be completely wrong. Uh, I don't think so, <laughs> I don't think so. And then we also, like, Linda is the last member of Blue Team, and we know that Linda and the Chief are prominent figures in the 20th anniversary pack. Why them? Why in Halo 5 molds? I think simply because Mega Constructs, they don't want to spend the money on dozens of new molds immediately, so they'd be doing them one by one, and Linda maybe just didn't make the cut this time round. I think Fred and Kelly are probably just more popular than Linda in-game. So Linda and... didn't make the cut for this year, or maybe the spring of this year, so they made the molds for Fred and Kelly, and they were like, well, let's include Linda in something. We want to include some blue team members in this 20th anniversary pack because they're so important to Halo 5, so why don't we just use... Why don't we just do a Linda? Because we don't want to do a Fred new mold and old mold at the same time. That'd be way too confusing. So let's just put Linda in for now, and Linda will get a new articulation Halo Infinite appearance Mega Constructs uh, figure in the near future. Well, Linda also is... might stay in Argus as like an Argus Spartan. Mm, maybe. Because uh, people might have liked that one. Also, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's still a pretty it's a hot mold, you know? Also, what other character would you have for Halo 5? Like a Cyrus? No. Yeah, I don't like, know. That's about it. Well, actually, no, no, no. Well, so officially, Osiris broke up. So that's no longer a thing. Did they also, Locke's yeah. helmet. Locke's helmet is on that uh, Hyperius's uh, shoulder pad. We just go. We gotta. We can't. Well, we, gotta... well, we don't know if it's exactly Locke's helmet. It looks it's... pretty similar, so that's something. It's definitely something, and he was listed on one of the websites as um, the Spartan Killer. Hyperius was listed as. So. I mean, Bruce are pretty good at killing Spartans. 
if you look at yeah. the new mold or the new hero version of Hyperius, mm. he's you can see the yellow. You can confirm that that is uh, Locke's helmet, helmet on his yeah. shoulder. Yeah. You can see it's, it. It's a very weird thing. I mean, very weird thing. Just, just saying. I don't think anyone's really gonna be like, oh no, Locke. Oh. They, they will. Uh, Depends how he's killed. Depends how he's killed. I, People have criticisms of the like... character, and then they have further criticisms if you just dunk on the character. Like it's three for three, just disrespecting their own. Uh, creative team like don't just kill him off just because he wasn't written well enough in halo 5 yeah no, character character I want to live his buck everyone else doesn't matter yeah, yeah. I, I, I just gonna... hope that uh they give him because you seen how Locke was in the trailers i hope he, they have a fight similar to that yeah yeah i hope i hope he at least i mean that chief would just if it was chief versus Locke again chief would just destroy Locke. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but you know what? Hyperius must be strong because he did have Chief for a second. Like he didn't have him, but he he matched him in combat for a second. But the brain power Chief had, it's what got him. Because he he really he just kind of reflected what he was about to do and just put that thing right on to uh, lock to lock his armor. Yeah, ha, right? lock, got locked. Yeah, yeah, armor locked. I'm so, oh, no. Hyperius has the strength. You know he's going to be an antagonist to be, you know. He's going to be like, be uh, he's going to be like kind of like the better version of Warden Eternal. I bet you. Like, he's going to be like he's going to be haunting you down as he constantly. Or he's going to be like one of those leader just... objectives. Maybe. But what if he steals a Dec Decimus's uh, mech suit uh, and he just or the fist Hyperius in a mech suit? I, I feel the like... fist of Rook. You know what? I'm gonna go do yeah, that. There are gonna be, I think 343 did confirm there's gonna be a lot of boss battles in this game. A lot of like, uh, steps like taking down different banished leaders throughout the ring. So, okay. Maybe Jagger. Let's, uh, let's keep on topic then. So we've got our Blind Bags Series 3. Probably we'll get Series 3 soon, and then Series 4 we'll get by the end of the year. I, th I think that's pretty... I think... Mega Constructs certainly delayed some things in 2020 because Halo Infinite w itself was delayed. So I would, I could definitely see them going for a really strong summer lineup that may start revealing and releasing pretty soon. And then they'll have a big November, December release schedule. Because Mega Constructs, they're not going to want old toys. First of all, they're going to want something right now because uh, fans are hungry for it. And then they're going to want something that comes out al alongside Halo Infinite. They're not going to want old toys on the shelf when Halo Infinite drops. So I think it's definitely f fair, fair to assume that we will get Infinite Series 3 and 4 blind bags this year, and we'll get Halo Hero Series 14 and 15. And maybe by the time we get Halo Hero Series 15, they'll be back up to the six-figure count because, um, because the game will be out. And also, I see people yeah, I like so. I see people saying, "Oh, Mega Constructs, they they got rid of the um, six-figure count to save money." No, I don't think so. I think they just got rid of it to to maybe maybe I think it's spoilers. Yeah, maybe have spoilers and maybe save a little bit of money at the time because their Golden A game that they've been waiting six years to be alongside a release of has been delayed for another year. So Mega Constructs has to just scramble to uh, to keep that under control. Um, My bet. Yeah, go on. My bet is that they'll probably kind of throw in the extra two that they spoilers in with the next series after Infinite comes out. Yes. Kind of like they did with Series 10, because Series 10 they had um, uh, 10 figures. Yep. Yeah, and... Definitely uh, could be a possibility. The Series 10 definitely reused uh, the Combat Evolve cheat that came out in Cryofrost as well. So, yes... I could see that happening. I think we'll definitely get uh, two Halo Heroes sets and two Blind Bag sets this year. I think it's a pretty safe assumption. Then we'll move on to the Brute versus Chief. The Brute versus Chief pack is only about uh, eight or nine dollars and comes with the Master Chief and the Brute Warrior with a dozen weapons. So what's going to be our versus set this year? The year before it was the Chief versus Arbiter. Hyperius versus Locke. Hyperius versus Locke. Ooh. Could be, could be. Jaga. Maybe an, maybe an Arbiter versus Jaga. Yes. Jaga, yeah, we yes. we need a Jaga. Could be Jaga. Yeah, well, that's the other one. 
I think we'll definitely get a Jaga soon. I was actually kind of surprised so that they released... Because the, the funny thing with Mega is, like, why did they release a... Why did they even release Hyperius? Why not just go for Jaga? Uh, but, but then again, how well, did Jaga yeah. come out? Jaga came out through Jazzware. That was the first time we saw Jaga, wasn't it? I bet they each got and like then a they... leader each toy one. So Mega got uh, so Mega got Hyperius and Jazzware got Jega. Yeah, that's fair to be sure. And then they revealed everything about Jega on a blog post. Yes, they did. Yes. yes. Um, so it, it does still seem funny that uh, they removed Halo Heroes to avoid spoilers. Yet they yet they still had Hyperius with Locke's helmet in a toy. That seems very weird to me. But that's that's what happened. Um, but you but... know what? It could have been. They could have just not known that that's what it was, and then, you know what I mean? They ended up releasing it, and who knows? 343 could have looked at them and said, Oh, why'd you do that? Mm. <laughs> yeah. And yes, But it was uh, too late. I, I R Y D B. yes, they are releasing a Hyperius in Halo Hero Series 14. Probably, again, to avoid spoilers. Like, they have a they have a Hyperius. They, they probably thought that Halo Infinite was going to launch, because clearly, you know, they put the named characters in the big sets because they want you to buy them. This one came out in Defense Point Showdown, and you had the Pelican Bro Hammer in the Pelican. So you, they wanted the two named characters that they knew were going to be in Halo Infinite, that they had the rights to use the assets of. They wanted them in the most expensive sets. And then suddenly, the game didn't get released, and then they decided to uh, re-release this in Halo Heroes Series 14, because they still he's going to be a prominent character in the game. They're still going to want him in the 2021 lineup now the game's been delayed. So makes sense he's in Heroes to me. And then we're going to, so the Brute, Brute versus Chieftain, we could have a lot of different variations there. We're going to move on to the turret takedown. This is like the example of the Dollar General exclusive. One that is just a cheap set. It's not something to uh, ride home about, but it's, it's something. It's a nice scenic piece. And Dollar General have had these like random little sets before. So what do you think could be a tiny little set that we see released in 2021? Maybe, Maybe like the uh, UNSC camp or like those little rings in the first trailer we got yeah. with the Marines with the little flare, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Maybe, a maybe a, a sentinel? sentinel. Maybe a little sentinel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or maybe it could be like a flood leak. It went, once that if that gets officially leaked, you get like a flood. It could like be a, a flood little, set. Cause... It could be a flood juggernaut or something, or it could just be a, a Promethean turret. We don't even know if Prometheans are in the game yet, fellas. My goodness. They are going dark on this information, aren't they? So we don't know. Maybe a little Promethean turret. Maybe like a little lookout post. Maybe a, a tiny little uh, what do we? What do you call them? Well, well, a barricade or um, some kind of defensive. Or that tent. Yeah, tent. Maybe some ODSP drop pods. More or less, I think, just because, like, just from what I've been seeing from Dollar General, yeah. it's going to be a swap most likely. So it's been like a Spartan assaulting uh, banished, and probably going to yes. swap it to like. Banished Banished to yeah. So it might be a UNSC exactly. turret. That's a good prediction, yeah. Or maybe a gun goose. A gun Could goose. be a gun goose. Ooh, a gun goose. And here's the other thing that I should mention. I don't think any assets will be released this year that aren't in the game. So if we get drop pods, that's because ODSTs and drop pods are in the game. We don't know yet. But I would... I they would better have very, ODSTs. Uh, yeah, I would be very surprised if drop pods weren't in the game. I'm... But, just gonna say i'm gonna be very mad if in like a side mission or something i don't see drop pods coming in from yes. the infinity absolutely you know, I'll yeah be about it too. I'll be and i about better it too. get we better get some odsc teammates to work with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but another thing we gotta consider here is that all almost all of the like the unsc has been yes. taken out at this point yeah so like yeah, they, they need these stations to be able to do, and they might have them, but um, you know. Well, yeah, that's what yes. I'm saying. So, like, we there's a very oh, high possibility that the Infinity is going to get shot down, like that, or taken down somehow. It's yes. pretty high. So maybe before, like, uh, Chiefs on the ring, and you know, the Infinity's there, you know, dropping drop pods a couple missions before it gets shot down or mm. something. You know. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Sebastian I, also predicted a gun goose as well. Yeah, we want to see we want to see all of your uh, predictions in the chat. Or like a guardian take to them, because guardians still exist. They're kind of, you know, I don't think they would just forget about this war in a Halo mm. thing. I'd like to see a brute chopper. Wildfire says yes. Chief yeah. versus Jaga probably. Ooh. Mega loves putting more chiefs in sets. Yeah. Um, Craig the brute, I'm listening to you. What do you even have to say, bud? Um, D Damon says, <laughs> even though I want to know what they are going to release, unlike the mystery of everything around Infinite and little hints in the toys, yes. 
there are a lot of hints in the toys. We need a Craig customizer pack. Yeah, well, okay, so we'll move on to that. Uh, we've got the UNSC Marine gear pack and the uh, UNSC Spartan armor pack. Both of those, um, depends if we keep them UNSC, I think we'll definitely get a new armor pack. Once Mega Constructs releases a new kind of armor pack, they definitely make it a yearly thing. So if I we keep up with the maybe. Victor memes, then we'll get a Grunt armor pack. A Grunt armor my pack. Bets. It could happen, man. It could happen. Ooh, maybe oh, a my... Grunt armor pack that comes with a Jackal. You could have Ooh, a Jackal and then a Grunt. I mean, you could have a Grunt customization and then Jackal. Yeah, for like the Jackal. The Jackal can become a Skirmisher. Well, yes. no, 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 no. So, better idea. No, like a Sniper Jackal. Actually. Because you know how the Jackals have like a little like, a hole in the head? We mm -hmm. can have like attachments for like a Sniper, you know, augment for it. Yes. Helmet. Yeah. I, I uh, was thinking, another thing. Sorry. Uh, I was thinking maybe a blood custom mm -hmm. pack with like uh, articulated arms. Ooh. Yes. And combat forms. Maybe yeah, maybe get some uh, like blood colors. Mm. Yeah. You could definitely yeah. get like an elite and a brute. The elite comes. Or it with... comes with like a special arm. Mm. An elite and a brute. The elite comes with one set of armor spare. The brute comes with one set of armor spare, maybe the chieftain armor. And then you have the flood parts, all the flood uh, arms and heads and accessories to add to those two figures. So you floodify your figures. That would be epic. And then it comes with a flame marine. A fl like the <laughs> yeah, the spare one is a flame marine trying to disperse the flood. That's epic. I really like that. Um, um, just and a, Grunty, just yes, thought. I'll be reading through some Discord predictions at the end. And yes, apparently Craig the Brute's super important question was, how are you? Wow, good job. <laughs> good job, Craig. <laughs> this is why Victor's job, overtaking Craig. you, dude. Oh, thanks yeah, come very on, much, man. Treacherous Gaming. Uh, keep up the work yourself, thank you. Maybe a Halo 2 Elite Ranger versus Master Chief with the Covenant Bomb. See, again, like, yes, but I, we'll get on to anniversary sets at the end. Um, I, we're, we're just going on Halo Infinite right now. I don't know if we're going to get any anniversary sets, but we'll get on to that in a bit. My, so, my like... little speculation for the armor pack is, mm. like... Reverse of like what we got for each, so we get two brutes with different armors that you can swap out. So maybe like chiefs and stuff, mm. and then like uh, Spartan, and then uh, we get an elite customizer with, but instead of a marine, an ODST. Mm, okay, yeah. Um, I could, I, I could like definitely see the, idea. I could definitely see the flood thing. I could also see a banished armor pack. Because remember, in the two Spartan armor packs and marine gear packs, the banished figure is the spare. And I get at the time, there were no other molds, especially for the brute. But now I could see a brute and an elite with uh, interchangeable warlord or ultra for the elite and interchangeable chieftain for the brute. And then it comes with like one marine or one Spartan to fight them off with. Maybe we get some uh, ranger forms or some spec ops for either one. Or like jump the jetpack brutes. Mm, yes. Yeah, jump pack yes. brutes. Um, also, yeah, uh, we just, we we know just they hit exist. the hour mark. Congratulations, lads. Good job. <laughs> We've got... Um, oh, we, we're just about to hit 117 likes. I think we just hit it. We just got to 118 likes. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you're enjoying oh, the stream... Oh, uh, It's 117 likes. There we go. Let's screenshot it quickly. Quickly. There we go. I got the 117. All right, so congrats, everybody. Woo! If you're enjoying the stream, if you're enjoying the full hour please consider subscribing and liking this video and all of that will help out. Cool, so we've got those sets. We've got the armor packs and yes, I could see a Banish one or I could see a Flood customizer pack. That would be amazing. And then we'll go on to the fire teams. What do we think for fire teams? I think they're definitely gonna stick with the three person fire teams, but I definitely think we'll get a fire team. Well, with I think Spartans. The... Didn't we get like two named Spartans in the new Hero series? Mm. Yes. So maybe their fire team will be one of them. Mm. Flood. Oh, wait, there could be a fire team of five, and then two heroes, and then three in one pack, so you collect all of them and make a I agree, team. but I don't think we'll get fire teams of five anymore. I just don't think it's cost effect effective no. for Mega. No. I think they've just slowly tested it, and they just know that the sales are going to stay the same if they keep it at four, or even three figures. <laughs> And they definitely, right. they add they add maybe a couple more accessories with these uh, new combat units. But let's, hyper, like, let's hypothesize for a second that we're only going to get three figures. What three figures I are they going to be? I think that the platoon pack replaces the fire teams. So they kind of split the build. The build one only comes with three. The platoon pack comes with six. It's a nice, like, happy mm. ground. Whoa, we just shot to 140 oh, likes, boys. Let's get it to 150. We can do it. That's awesome. 
Um, An ODST armor ODST pack. ODST fire like, team. No. Yes. Yes. You get yes. three ODSTs. Maybe, and maybe we could get a four pack. figure. Maybe oh, we get a fire team raven in a four pack as like wow. a special. Yes. Pack. That'd be cool. I like that. Wow. Like kind of like the blue team sets almost with that because we need a because the lang and the um uh, crate weren't too accurate so we could get like super accurate versions. Yeah. Oh. Um. I don't or know. Or we could get the green ODSTs. It, it is, it is a surprise that leading up to Halo talk, Infinite... Impossible. Oh yeah, sorry, I'll just finish this this thought. Leading up to Halo Infinite, oh, yeah, yeah. there are a couple of things that were like missing. Like Halo Heroes, they were missing a few things, particularly the rest of Fireteam Raven. So I could see that happening, but again, only if Raven is any kind of asset in Halo Infinite, which I don't think it would be. Go on. No, well, they aren't they all dead? They all died. They all died. They're all dead. Because it takes up. place in Halo CE, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the ring yeah, they, all, they, they, they all got nuked. They, they said it was an honor, nukes. and then they all blew up. Yeah, it's the noble Sucks to Spoiler stuff. alert! So definitely three ODSTs with a drop pod would be epic. Maybe even two ODSTs and a commander. Like, um, the I love the uh, the survivor marine from the platoon pack. Maybe him and two ODSTs uh, just, like, dug down with a drop pod. That'd be awesome. In metallic green. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Rose's yes. idea of a Promethean fire team. Yes, and ag like... again, that just depends if we have Prometheans in the game. We don't know, which is so wild. And the build would be an actual Sentinel, like uh, the Halo, like because because I'm sure it'd be a bungee style Ooh, Sentinel, buddy. the bungee style ring. Ooh, Ooh, two soldiers and a Sentinel. I think it's safe to that assume. Cool. Omega should make a librarian figure. Oh my goodness, yeah, Antonio. I've never even thought about that. I've always then we could have her slapping the guy I've down. I've always thought it was so insane that they didn't make a, a guardian, a, a mega constructs guardian, or even I mean a guardian's quite complicated, but it's so surprising to me that they didn't make a mega constructs uh, warden eternal. Yeah, so crazy. But a Promethean, okay, yeah, yeah that one. Rosa says a Promethean Knight, Soldier, and two Promethean Runners. That's not bad. It would be cool to get more drop pods. Yeah, Craig's clan tag is 193. Let's make it happen. <laughs> They'll just, yeah. Um, so ODSTs, that would be good. It, it's safe to assume that we'll get one UNSC and one Banished side by side. So we've got a Banished fire team. We could have another Banished fire team, or we could have a Promethean fire team. Totally depends or, where the Prometheans are in the game, man. Totally depends. Or a flood fire team. Or, yeah, or actually, why not Silent Shadow? On the flood. Or uh, Atriox's right hand. Silent Shadow. Or, you know. Ooh. Atriox's right Silent hand. Shadow yes. fire team. I feel like those would be like a named kind of figure. I was about to say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blood yeah. Stars. I feel like they'd be alongside oh, like the Fire Team Osiris and Blue Team uh, units, where they'd be like a whole different thing. Um, but that, that yeah. could happen. That could happen. So. We've um, got expanding yeah, on the flood. Yes, go on. Expanding on the flood thing, I think it would be really cool if we got like a mixed fire team of like Vanish and UNSC called like the Survivors Battle Pack. Mm -hmm. Where they're surviving the flood invasion and then we have a mixed like uh, combat forms. But sorry to cut you off. Yes, no, that sounds great. Um yeah, that that really sounds great. What about Halo Wars two fire teams like Mark Four Spartans? <laughs> well <laughs> Yes. Halo Wars Marines. Yes. Halo Wars Marine Platoon Pack changed my mind. Yes, I think I think oh, these wait. two combat units would definitely not come with any named figures. I think that's safe to assume. They're just... Hey guys, you know I just realized something? What? So you weren't muted the whole Sorry, time. Sorry, I just please don't say you were muted the whole time. No, I wasn't muted. No, no, no. I was, I was just something just clicked when you said Halo Wars. Mm. What if, uh, since the Infinity Infinity gets shot mm. down, what if at some point the Spirit of Fire comes in and kind of like you know. I've been That's thinking about that. Yeah. That's the yeah, support. Because that ship's still kicking. That. Yeah. I think the Spirit of Fire might follow back. Because, like, the, the 20th anniversary but they don't have pack, a we're also getting drive. drones. That's what they could. That's going to be three man fire moments teams where our hearts be, uh, jump Omega team. with excitement. Yes. Because yes. think oh, about dude, it, there's those cry. three unique Omega team members. Mm -hmm. It would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Those three Omega team members. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I would love that, dude, legitimately. But and like, I can see it. Wait, I'm oh, sorry. Dude. But, like, yeah, I can see the videos of Because the Spirit of Fire. Oh, yeah, you oh people my reacting. God. Because the Spirit of Fire is the colony ship, and it could drop bases. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not wrong there. Yeah, Spirit of Fire oh. makes bases. I'm getting happy Whoa, right now. Oh, that's really I'm good. That's really smart, Zach. Yeah. 
the the uh, the spirit of fire comes in when all hopes lost and it starts deploying bases. Three four three, don't shoot me, please. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jerome, and all the Alice, and Douglas just do a superhero landing in front of you. Know what? To Legit. I, can, I, I just want to say that. I just want to say this, like if like Chief's like on his last leg and we're like, wait, what? Mm. Sorry. Wait, we're not did I, I, did I, did I did just like, you just hear the music start ramping up and then you just see yeah. the spirit of fire coming oh, out of nowhere and just three lone drop pods just come out of nowhere. Five, it doesn't one happen. We're going to you back. Yeah. And then this red team comes out. That yeah, would be awesome. Three, yeah, like in a cutscene, like three lone drop pods come off of a spirit of fire and just like, you know, Red team comes out to assist the chief against so uh, Hyperius. That'd be so, so dope. Um, what? A what note, if? Uh... A quick note. Yes, we don't. Mega Constructs is confirmed. They do not have the license to make Hayabusa figures anymore. Go on. Oh, they don't make Hayabusa anymore. No, they they don't have the license uh, anymore. They, uh, have, they haven't done for years. What if the uh, Spirit of Fire like came in, the epic music started, and they just got immediately EMP'd, oh, no. and then, and then the shat, and then the shadow of intent just pops out of the corner. Ew. That, that'd be, like, even more bad. That's pretty horrific. Um, right, so <laughs> we, both of them. we are on the uh, 1 hour 10 mark. Let's ramp it up to our small-scale priced sets. We've got the Warthog and the Ghost. These come in at about $15, $20. Uh, they're just so great for army building. They come with three figures on average. What do you think is going to be the new cheap vehicle? I could, chopper. Uh, chopper. Chopper. Yeah, I go chopper. Yeah, chopper. I go chopper. Yeah, because chopper. the brutes chopper. need some new weapon, uh, some new vehicles. Yeah, the brutes definitely need some, some new toys. Yeah, that's some maybe new the toys. warthog replacement could be a prowler. Mm. Maybe. Mm. That's, so, yes, that's we, delicious. We need, we need, uh, we, we need some kind of brute small weapon, a small vehicle, and they don't even have a brute driving. Do they have a brute driving the hijack ghost? A banished nope, it's, ski do. It's the dude. It's, it's hijacked, so the Spartan's driving it. Yeah, but it's yeah. hijacked from a brute. Or from the grunts. From the, from but, like, the grunts are supposed to drive them while the brutes yeah, right. drive the, the chopper. Kind of... so, so the, the brutes brute need should... a new vehicle, yeah. The, the, we had the chopper and the prowler. It would be great to see both of those return. That's uh, really And their chopper design awesome. is great. Yes, yes. The chopper raid set's so good. Look at this chopper. Mm, the it chopper uh, is it's, amazing. It's, it's amazing. Yes. So it's we love the chopper, we love the prowler. Problem. It would be great to see that return. And when Halo 4 came out, they actually did release uh, the brute chopper again. As Halo 4 was uh, released, Mega Bloks made uh, the brute chieftain chopper, which was nothing to do with the game, but they released at the same time as Halo 4. So maybe they'll take inspiration from your boy and make a banished goblin. Yeah, banished goblin. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that banished goblin was sick. <laughs> They need uh -huh. to like bring in like oh. more Halo Wars vehicles, like banished wise, because yes. there's a lot of potential there that they have not tapped. No. I want to fight a grunt rider in Halo Infinite. That would be amazing. <laughs> Methane wagon. Well, blister back, boys. It's the blister back. <laughs> exactly, blister back. That's an obvious one. So you know? I think, I think I would that, would, to that now... would be the Pelicans match. Yes. I think what we need to do now is instead of going through each set one by one, we should just come up with set ideas and try and match them to an existing price point. Because, Condor. Yes. Uh, Condor. So, one big thing I think Mega's missing is that sweet spot in between. Because there's a huge price jump in retail from 40 to 80. Mm. We need some kind of sweet spot in the middle, and uh, that would be either a banished Wraith or a Scorpion. A banished yeah, Wraith or a Scorpion. Yeah. yeah. I vote more banished because we, we have enough UNSC. I think we need to flesh out the banished. Yeah, we right definitely need more banished. banished. We do. But we only have the way that they could do it, like the, with the. I would love to see how they make a scorpion because everything else is built different. Yes. You know, like the suspension on the warthog. We're probably and just get a the way... phantom. We, the big they'd phantom. probably just but, use the 20th anniversary design. No, but that's the thing. They're not. They wouldn't because they want to come into this. Like they literally said that they are doing it all, like total rebuild, scrapping yes. their old ideas. Yes. I want to hmm. see what they would do with a scorpion. Yes, I think so. I think um, so. And I a think scorpion is actually a solid. Sorry, one sec, Zach. Um, I think a no, scorpion no is definitely a solid assumption, actually, because uh, we're talking about the iconic sets, and when a new game comes out, Mega Constructs always releases the full set of iconic sets again. So we've yeah. got, we, we've already got a lot of them. I mean, Banshee, Ghost, Mongoose, Warthog, Pelican. They are the main ones. What's missing? The first one I would Ray, go to is Scorpion Phantom. Wraith. Scorpion Wraith. Mm -hmm. 
Phantom. Yeah. Well, okay. So the the safest prediction of all, and this is I I am gonna put my 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 livelihood on the line. Okay. I see without a shadow of a doubt that the big set this year Phantom. is a banished Phantom. Without a oh, shadow, shadow of a doubt, uh, I will. Shadow of intent. <laughs> If we yes, don't yeah. get a banished phantom this year, listen up. If we don't get a banished phantom this year, I will give away. I'll uh, I'll do I'll do a live stream. Tell you what, tell you what. We'll hear it here first. If we don't do, if we don't get a banished phantom, then at the very end of 2021, the last week of the year, I'm gonna do a live stream where I give away like a dozen sets because I'm so confident that ten pelicans. Five pelicans. <laughs> Ten. I'm s five pelicans. Five. Let's, let's not go nuts. Let's five. Five. So five. I just, we're gonna, I'm so I say, I say do two. I'm so confident, boys. I'll give away some massive sets. I'm so confident. If we don't get a banished phantom, I'll saw this boat in half. <laughs> <laughs> let's just talk if, about, if they don't give us a banished phantom. Here. Let's just talk about the likelihood here. A. Every single asset that was in that E3 trailer, we've got a set of now. The Warthog, the Pelican, including the characters in that, that trailer. Then we've got the main turret, the Defense Point Showdown. We've got um, all the weapons that were really shown. We've got everything is coming together. We have oh, yeah, to right get the Phantom. There's Ex been no Phantom. Except, yet. well, also, also the Downed Condor. You can't forget about the Downed Condor. Yeah, but that even is the thing. Wasp as well. Even the Wasp as well, we're getting it. We got and that now in like one tiny promotion. The Phantom, and believe you know, me, like when I was uh, when I was selling a load of my stuff in England last year, the Phantom is by far the most coveted set right now. It's gone so long without a release, and it's the only oh. Covenant Phantom. It's one of the <coughs> only vehicles in all of Mega Constructs that has only had one release. <coughs> so beautiful. Me, sure, I'd like for to put in an interjection. Yes, what's your interjection there, Bam Bam? Well, you've seen that, uh, was it Brian that, uh, posted the old base, the fo like, the actual huge base with the buildable terrain and stuff? Yeah, yeah. He said, oh, man, dude, base. he said, oh, remember when we were going to release this? And why would he do that? Just well, randomly. Brian like, he's literally, yeah, he literally just posted it, and it was the big, um, the one with the mountain, like, yeah. it had the back. Oh, yeah, on Instagram. You know well, I think, gonna come well, back. well, well, the thing to remember about Brian MCX is also could have um, been a first of all, it could have been a first of all, we it. shouldn't give Brian MCX much of a spotlight because he has someone in China illegally leaking these images, and Mega Constructs is not happy about it. So, like, I've definitely washed my hands clean. No, that no, guy. or no, but, no, no, Brian, not not that, not oh, that Brian. Oh, I'm talking like the actual, the actual in, guy. like oh, the right, right. yeah, Brian, oh, man. Oh, oh, wow. okay. Them, them, I'm not talking, talking about that one. I'm talking. talking about the actual big build, like not just the mm. one with all the figures. It was actually a big build of a base. Oh yeah, well, like a big well, huge. I'll, I'll, uh, do I'll you guys know? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was showed off in uh, what was it called? The Squad Forty Five. They showed yeah. off that set. Yeah, in the in the final episode. Yeah, unreleased Mega. And they never. It got destroyed. It out, but then he just, like, just recently reposted it. Posted it. I don't know if it was on um. Mm on mega constructs forums or whatever it was but he posted it and said oh remember when we were going to do this <laughs> and it's like why are you going to just post that for absolutely yeah. no reason well, he's probably, or is there he's a probably reason? feeling out the water he's probably he's probably just testing what people's reaction is a lot of the time a lot of the time they do that do you remember with the masters of the, the masters of the universe castle grace school they tested that out for ages. They tested the water. They said to everybody, oh, you know, this is here. Maybe we could make it. And just the hype built so much that they made it. Look at that fire base. That cannot be everybody, less than $250. Everybody hype it. Hype it right now. The hype, hashtag hype.exe for the base. Buddy, okay. just do it. Okay, like, we'll, just, we'll get that going. Hashtag fire. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag God, firebase pre-release. We just gotta spam mega Twitter we'll with it. Hashtag what, Victor I think wants a base. Uh, this is the first of many I discussion videos. This is the first of many discussion videos, and I want to do one soon saying Mega Blocks needs more terrain. Mega Blocks needs more um Yes. Bases. Oh, well, I do want to mention something. Let's face it just just real quick. Um when I made my banished diorama, it was a little frustrating that I had every set in 2020 
and my table still looked bare bones because there's just no display pieces. There's just some like little barricades yeah. and that's it. Like no terrain at all. I actually, I actually have some insight on Mega. So there's this server called Squad Forty Five, yes. and they have this thing called Questions with. Yeah, and Mega Constructs, yes. which is a market, which is the, I think he's the, the market, market manager, manager of Mega Constructs. Yeah, and, and somebody asked about that, and he said, well, we're not making as many or if any at all because they just don't sell as well. They tend to sell more to collectors yeah. and less to, like, the kids and on the I shelf. And I can totally see Because the kids that. on the shelf is like, can I get a building box or a warthog? I'm going to grab the warthog because yes. it's got more playability. I can definitely see that, that's yeah, and that that's, I mean, there's got to be a reason behind it, and I definitely think the reason that we've never seen... Well, big, kids are lazy. Well, they don't want to build yeah, stuff. Yeah, kids just want, kids just want a fun vehicle that they can, they can play with. Boy, Hence why, like, all the sets we're, have we're, firing we're, missiles. Like, they're clearly built for kids, and there's always that argument that people say, well, Mega Constructs should listen to the collectors more, because the collectors buy a hundred of these things. Yes, but there's only 200 collectors that buy 100 of everything versus... And the collectors were kids 50, once, too. 50,000 kids that buy a few of the sets. So, like, I don't think the numbers add up. So... Simon, if, we were uh, kids. We played with the stuff before then, we collected it. But that comes it. into the SIG builds. If you made mm -hmm. a Firebase that was a signature build, I'd buy it. Um, and that's just that's just like catered it. to collectors. That's in the, the case that they really only have to sell, like, one per... Really? Um, they only, they really have to sell like one per um, one per Toys R Us. Like just sell one to each Toys R Us, and then you're good. All right, so well, we're gonna move on for a second. What... We've got a lot of predictions for Banished, um, and we're gonna talk about Foreigners. But first, let's talk about buildable weapons. What do we think? We're gonna see a buildable hmm. weapon this year. AR could see classic. Yeah, I could see them going. For I think AR. a BR. BR. I can see, I see a, a BR or a Magnum. Let me know in the chat which. Yeah, those um, are like the four classics. Let me know in the it's chat. It's either Needler. Here's here's the things my. I think of oh, are, sorry. Yeah, go on. Uh, it's, there's like it's probably gonna be one of those weapons you think of. There's like five main weapons you think of when you think of Halo: energy sword, assault rifle, battle rifle, Needler, Magnum. It's got to be mm. one of those four. And the reason yeah, I fair. think it's the Needler, here it is is that Mega is constantly trying to show off how their builds can be, like, amazing yes. and how they can use all their certain pieces True. to make things look realistic. True. I really think they could, like, nail a Needler. Yeah. Oh, uh, I just saw someone say grenade. Yeah, I also saw an amazing idea from Sebastian saying we need a, we really need a rebel pack. Yeah. But then again, yeah. I, don't think, I don't think Rebels are going to be on, on the, the installation, so I don't think that'll happen. Uh, I think that they'll be there even more now with the UNSC gone. Yep. I think that they're going to be heavy in numbers with less um, confrontation mm -hmm. aside from Forta Cortana's mm -hmm. forces. But while they're killing each other, they can just do their dirty work under the radar. That might be true. So, Jerry Houston wants a battle rifle too. Uh, Liam Savage wants a buildable weapon. Buildable weapons suck. Liam Savage, get out of here, man. <laughs> I was gonna just... <laughs> I want a BR nice just comments. so I can do some, I like... Thought, I thought I was like, oh, you know, Liam's actually uh, commenting which weapon he wants. No, he just says these suck. All right. Um, so I They're think beautiful. an assault rifle or a needler. A needler seems, like, really chunky. I don't know. That seems, like, a little intense. But a battle rifle or an assault rifle seems pretty epic. I just want to do button combos IRL, man. Mm. Okay. So we've got those weapons, and then I think the, what Mega Constructs wants more than anything at this point is Flood. I think the Flood returning is the best thing for Mega Constructs, period, because they can just re-release all these vehicles again with Flood on them. So if the Flood is yeah. an infinite, I think by fall, by, by like winter, we could get a Flood Ghost, or we could get a Flood Warthog, or even a Flood Scorpion. Or, or we could Pure get... Or we could get like that Warthog turret suggestion. Mm. We could get attachment flood pieces in a separate set. And it would just be those flood pieces. And you could buy them and put them onto your vehicle. Mm. I know that floods are amazing sellers. I know like from the second hand market, flood tanks are like 30 to 40 bucks per. Yeah. And I know people who still go, like somebody showed their flood collection and they bought 16 of those expensive flood tanks. Yeah, I so think flood, I flood that is a, a guarantee. Flood's not a guarantee for Mega, but uh, for for Halo Infinite. But if Halo Infinite does have Flood, then guaranteed Mega will will get on that train. And I think that's a lot of like what we're looking at here. 
we can speculate as much as we want, but it just depends what assets make it into Halo Infinite. If Cortana's also look at all my bug bites, my goodness. If uh, if Cortana can, if Cortana's created and Promethean soldiers are in Halo Infinite, then we'll see them released later this year. The same I also goes think a good way that the, a little thing for uh, Infinite, like this is more of an Infinite speculation because again, mm. Mega and Infinite tie in so heavily. But I think the, they'll almost like sideline the creative by having them trying to contain this massive flood outbreak. Yeah. Because that would make sense. That would be their number one priority since they Containing do want peace and prosperity. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's true. That's true. Yes, you're great. A see... grape might buildable thing would be sick. Six yes. set. That would yes. be dope. Yes, yes. So I, I would also good. love to see um, the the inside of maybe the library or whatever. What did they say? The the auditorium. I would love to see some like inside foreigner structures there. And then once you get down that route, because you they've released so much UNSC this year, that once you get down that route, they could just go on um, Flood versus Prometheans. Like that could just be all the sets. Flood versus Prometheans. We could have Sentinels. We could have Juggernauts. We could have Flood, flood carriers, we are, all sorts. Maybe and Promethean probably... vehicles? Yeah. Like, would be like a giant sentinel. And, and they'd also probably... You up in Halo 2. Yeah, they'd also probably, like, do it very slowly. They wouldn't just give you all the flood at once, and then, like, have no new set ideas. I think we're definitely gonna see some re-releases this year. For example, I think we'll get a blue or a red Warthog. I think that's a safe bet. I think that's a pretty good one. Um, just like a you know simple, what they should give us? Different colored warthog. What's that? They should give us either covenant muzzle flares or sentinel. Ah, so that's the other flare. thing. Yeah, that's the other thing. Well done. I was going to point that out. We do need um, forerunner. We do need covenant or banished muzzle flares. That's definitely something that they need to work on now. Because all my UNSC are firing, but the the banished ain't firing back. So they need they need that. Yeah. The banished only have two weapons that can fire muzzle or fire some sort of muzzle, that's the mangler and the shock rifle. Mm, yes, um, the mangler can, yeah. Hey guys. So... What other weapons do the banished have? Just like uh, the, the new wa waves I'm like, totally forgetting. Um, oh, I see Spiker, one. Yeah. Brute Shot. The needler and the energy sword, although they've reverted back to the old energy sword design for some reason. Um, fellas, I must also say that we are running out of time now. We're on in the hour and a half mark. And I've got to go and get my, uh, my I've, I've got to get, oh my goodness. I was Capture about to say, code. I've got to go get my flu shots. shots. What the heck? I got to go get my COVID shots. <laughs> um, so it has been an absolute pleasure, guys. Do you want to put in any more suggestions before we close today? I see that we I could, have... we got the Master Chief helmet. I could see them doing a small scale elite helmet or brute. And I could also see them doing just another color, like a blue Spartan and a red Spartan. The only right, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Is mark. that they put some terrain in at least, like even just a small piece in every yeah. pack, just really a little piece yeah. of that terrain. Not, that not, can combine yeah. together not, to not one flat big flat huge stuff, like actual terrain. Yeah, they really toilet but, uh, grave mind. Like I, toilet one thing that get out of it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so uh, yeah, I made the meme. I can say it. Hey. So, cause I, I know we only have like five minutes. So, can we get into like the like the twentieth anniversary and the wild speculations? Yes, let's go twentieth well, anniversary. Let's go twentieth anniversary. What do we think? Can I Scare. say one thing first? I don't think we'll get anything. Yeah, go on, Zach. Sorry. Uh, just a side topic about my, uh, mystery packs. I really miss like you know the uh, chase figures. I wish that they would bring those back. I know. I know. We all do. Yeah. We all do. They're not even that hard to make, so, and they make people buy more. Let's talk Falcon. Quickly. We need a Falcon. Let's talk quickly about these. Um, let's talk quickly about these uh, 20th anniversary sets. I honestly I... don't think we're gonna get any. I think. I think that. Yeah, just, me I think too. They just said, "Let's release a big boy set. Let's let's make everybody happy, and then let's focus on Infinite." If the 20th anniversary was this year and Infinite's launch had been last year, that would have been perfect for Mega because they would have literally just gone really hard on the Infinite sets last year and then this year they could just focus on 20th anniversary because they've already got all the things like Pelican Inbound. They just need to re-release Pelican Inbound, really, just make sure it's still in stores. But... Buddy. Yeah. What do you think? You started a new thing. Floodshot is blowing up right now. Floodshot. <laughs> Oh mm -hmm. no, oh no, Floodshot. Um, so, yeah, I think I think they're done for 20th anniversary this year. They could uh, release, like, 
a couple of little things. But Yo, I don't guys, think so. we need Maybe flood a versus model pack players. That, they, could do, they could do a versus pack that's anniversary. They could do that. Elite Ultra Studios, don't eat a Master Chief pig on camera. Don't, what do we think? Don't what make do we think that kind of bet. For, for a versus series, a versus set that could be centered around. Um, a versus set that could be centered around. Your connection's doing the hokey pokey. Yeah. yeah Mine is. Like, it's yeah, kind of, it's kind of like, like not. Start EXE has stopped working. <laughs> well, I think I think I sound good on the stream, so let's just keep on going. We got we got like uh, four four or so minutes. So we've got. Uh, what do you think for the the last thing we're going to talk about is the four and a ring installation. I could see them using this opportunity to do a four and a ring installation variant right to this. that's the Guardian. I could see them doing a micro yes. Guardian on a beautiful base plate. But only if Guardians are actually in the set, but I, I, in the game. But I think it's very likely that they are in the game. And if they are, then I think we'll see... Did, did he say like, Forerunner Ring? I think what, that's I what, what I heard. But, um, My he a, a, guardian, a Guardian, yeah, Forerunner Ring installation, but a Guardian on a black base plate. I could also see them releasing a thing called Forerunner Ring Installation 2. And it has just a load of different terrain, like a volcano. Well, not the volcano. They wouldn't have volcanoes, but like, um, like a, a river or a lake or, or something else. Yeah, uh, uh, one, one, wants like, to give away. Like one wild speculation here. Yeah. Is that something that I wanted? Yeah. Me and another member came up with this for the Jerome that was in like the puzzle piece, since he was on his own. Like, oh, this is a set we could get Jerome in, which would be sick. Mm. Grizzly. We need a grizzly. But again, only if it comes out in the game. So to to summarize what we've got so far, fellas, uh, and to really summarize today, we're, we're going to do a lot more of these discussions in the future. But to summarize today, we could have potentially two more blind bag series and two more Halo heroes this year. The Halo heroes that are missing from series 13 and 14 are probably Fred and Kelly, and I think we'll see them appear later on. Then some gear packs and ammo packs. I could see some flood gear packs. We could have a brute and an elite with then a couple of different armors for them. And then also the flood accessories to add to those figures. Then a platoon pack. We could easily see a banished platoon pack. That's not difficult. Then if we get forerunners and if we get flood in the game, it's a big if. If we get flood, I could see a flood infected ghost or a flood infected warthog. If we get Forerunner, I could see um, a Sentinel or a big Dreadnought. And then we could have a buildable weapon, either the Assault Rifle or the Battle Rifle. A Forerunner Ring Installation Part 2. The big set, I can guarantee it's going to be a Banished Phantom. I just know it will be. Then if the Spirit of Fire ends up in the game, we could have deployable fire bases. That would be really exciting. I think we'll get a different colored Warthog. I think we'll get a small Dollar General exclusive, like a turret or a little fire base. Then I think we might we could have an ODST set. That would be super exciting. We might even get another colored Mongoose. Then I think we'll get a Scorpion. The Scorpion will probably be the defense point showdown price point. And that pretty much brings us all the way around. We might have a versus pack with Master Chief and Jagger. It'll probably be another Master Chief because they love Master Chiefs. But Master Chief and Jagger, we might also get uh, Jagger or more of Blue Team or more of Fire Team Osiris in future Halo Heroes sets. I think Halo Heroes, they're just stalling for now. And then. Really quick. Yeah, and then the buildable helmet, we might get a buildable brute helmet or another color of the Chief's helmet. Yep. Really quick, right. what do you guys think? Um, do you think that new chief is a dark green, or do you think I that think it's, it's a metallic green in a dark room? I think it's just the photo. I think it's just a uh, metallic green. I think All it's right, a dark so oh. we've got to oh. finish off for today, fellas. But I'm gonna get, do a giveaway. Everybody, comment in the wild chat in the in the live chat. Comment saying blind bag hype. And in one minute's time, I'll choose one of you to win one of these micro builds. So comment down below saying blind bag hype. Go, go, go. We got to go get our flood shots. <laughs> go get your flood shots. It's flood shots, man. I said flood shots. So yeah, this has been a fantastic stream. Thank you everybody for joining in. I've had a really great time. We might also see another builder's box. I don't know how well the first builder's box uh, sold. Oh, banished. Heavy weapons guy, yeah. you're donating to get your, your, get your entry in again. <laughs> all right, and, and he's being smart. We're all coming in now. I'll give it another 20 seconds. <laughs>
And yeah, it's, 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 it's been a really chat. exciting Let's go. line. I also hope there we go. The death <gasps> sound. Ah, I also hope that, uh, I also hope that more of the alternate builds give us more display pieces. We should get it trending, and we will do another video in the future talking about how. Mega Constructs really needs to make more display pieces, more fire teams, and maybe there'll be a single build fire team base. And the winner of the blind bag hype is da, 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 my forehead. Bantha Squad. Congratulations, Bantha Squad! Join my Discord and message me, the Master Chief, with the proof of your channel, and I'll send that to you free of charge. And we'll be doing hey, a second giveaway. A second giveaway. Once this video, once this live stream is finished. Refresh the page and then like the video, subscribe and comment on the actual video once it's a live video. Comment saying blind bag hype again and I'll choose another one to send you one of these micro builds. You can choose when you message me on Discord. We gotta go, we gotta go get our um, shots, we Flat gotta shot. go get uh, COVID safe. Everybody go get your vaccines, it's, uh, it's a really good thing to do. Let's get everybody, let's get everybody traveling again. I wanna go to America. Vaccination right station. All right, so it's I wanna good. thank my Discord uh, members, I wanna thank my You're Discord welcome. management and my Patreon. And thank you so much for tuning Ooh. in today. Um, I hope get we gave a little up. insight into Halo Infinite and I'll see you for the next live stream. The domain is signing off. See you later, guys. Peace, my dudes. Signing out. Rookie, signing out.